I will gonna give you some information or little information for a bonus what you need to do first when applying for <laughs> What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista and welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to say I apologize for not being consistent for the past 8 weeks or 2 months. If you look at my main channel, you probably see that I didn't upload any video like a 2 months gap from this video or probably the video I just posted before this one. It's just because of one reason. There, can you see it? My certificate, of course, completion in Florida. So it means that I complete my real estate course, you know, because I want to be in real estate first, most of all, first, most of all, first of all. And then after that, I also did my state exam or my state license exam, which I passed as well yesterday for second attempt, which I'm so happy and so thankful. It's just because like when I did my first exam, you know, first attempt exam, I thought like I studied enough, but unfortunately, I failed and you need to focus this is not just like studying and just like you know taking the exam and you think you can just do it do it do it you know it's not if you're not serious about this stuff and you're not study you're not prepared well you're gonna fail it I'm telling you now because I did on the first time so first of all or before anything I'm just gonna show you my state license not a state license that the proof that I just passed the exam here see it I don't know if you can see it it's passed right and the date of my examination is this 324 2022 i don't know if you can see it it's just there 324 2022 if you can see it so i passed my real estate license exam yesterday because it's the 25th today so I'm so happy about it. I'm so thankful because for the past two nights, I didn't sleep at all. It's just because I thought I am going to fail it. I thought like I'm not going to make it. I thought like it's going to be happen again. You know, that's why in my mind, what I did was I keep saying like, you're not going to pass. But I keep saying I'm going to pass. You know, it's confusing. But that's what I felt for the past two nights before my exam. Anyway, this is what I did. I'm just going to give you some quick tips and advice. If you want to do this one, if you want to do this career like me, join me if you like, you know, Know, follow me because for me I love selling like buying selling as if you found or if you watch my video my recent video I just posted in the past I have sold like different kind of couches I sold like different kind of furnitures and I buy them and sell them you know they kind of like buy and sell so I said myself like I want to upgrade I want to make something big I want to have a goal in my life so I decided like I'm gonna do this real estate so I fixed my mind anything about real estate I will do it it's just because like like, I love doing the stuff and also I love talking to you you know my YouTube that's why I create this channel so my first thing to do if you are about to do this job make sure that you are prepared right if you want to be a real estate agent or if you want to be a realtor like me I can finally say I am a realtor now because I passed my real estate license what you need to do you need to make sure that this is for you think first number one what you need to do is like think what would happen to you two years three years four years or five years from today think about that first second do you like talking to people, right? Do you like reaching out to different people, asking some business? Do you like kind of stuff? Let's go for number three. Number three is just like, do you like communicating and, you know, selling and buying stuff or representing yourself as a sale agent? That was the realtor. You just represent yourself for buyer or for seller who wants to sell and buy property or buy their first home. Last one, but not the least, is just, are you prepared yourself that this is not a day job that you have a boss but you will be your own boss and are you prepared that as soon as you get in this job or in this career you won't get any paycheck for probably first three to six months are you prepared for that one because I do before I started to this one those four or maybe five did I say five or four I think I did say four right so th those four questions ask yourself or maybe five I can't remember just all, all that just came up in my mind ask yourself first number one number two if you like communicating people number three you know if you like representing yourself as a buyer and a seller you know for someone who would like to transact about buy and selling the houses property and lastly but not the least if you are ready to not having a paycheck for probably three months or maybe six months or maybe more right so four not five so ask that four question or if you have some bonus what you need to do is just comment down below I could include it 
it for my next video remember that four question so that you will know that you are ready for this career remember if you're doing real estate you are entrepreneur right did i say right entrepreneur or entrepreneur entrepreneur i think I entrepreneur you just search it in google i don't know entrepreneur i'm not really good in pronunciation either my grammar i said that right because i know that first of all english is my second language and first language is tagalog and filipino if you don't know that now you do if you're decided that you answer all those questions that I just said there, I'm going to give you some information or little information for a bonus what you need to do first when applying for this career or for the real estate business, right? Number one, what you need to do is you need to be at least have a social security or a high school diploma or equivalent and also if you are you need to be at least 18 years old to get into the business right that's a number one you don't have to be a citizen of united states because i am not i have a green card i am over 18 years old i have social security number and also i have a high school diploma or equivalent right your high school diploma take note it, it doesn't have to be in the united states if you have like a high school diploma if you are like foreign you know from different country as long as equivalent high school diploma you're good to go because for the fact I rang the DBPR by the way the DBPR is the main office you need to apply for your business right that's the DBPR so once you complete all those requirements you're good to go that's the number one you need to think about it. number two is you need to file your application and you need to pay for your fee if I remember the fee that I paid for them was $46 if I remember if not just correct me just go to the DBPR website and then check it out number three is you need to have your fingerprints updated because doing their fingerprints you, they can track that if you have some criminal records or you know they can do background check by doing that you know they can know like you are free you don't have any criminal records or something like that they can prove whatever you, you did so if you did something in the past make sure that you are going to disclose that one or make sure you put them there because they can track you that's number one tip so after you've done your fingerprints what you need to do next is get your 63 Three hours free licensing course you can get it by checking my link down below which i did what you're gonna get i believe you get like either 40 percent or 60 percent of your purchase price for the course that they offer so if you're interested go to the ceshop.com that's where i get it the ceshop.com and then what i purchased was 188 dollars if i'm right or 190 after tax something like that i purchased with number one the 63 hours course on the 63 hours course they will have every chapter they will give you exam like at 1 to 25 questions or maybe more you have to complete all those and then at the end of the chapters like if you did the whole chapters you will get like a practice exam for 100 questions you need to be to have at least 70 to pass and then you get your certificate like this and then you know you get your 63 hours at the end of the course you need to pass you need to have like at least 70 out of 100 question with their uh, training course at the end of the course and then obviously you need to pass that one as soon as you have that one you have to be notified the dbpr that you have passed and what you need to do you need to go to person view okay or person view website which i did so once you go to person view website they will ask your identification they will get your dbpr connect them if your application is gone true if you have passed the exam etc right so once you connect or have account in person view what you need to do next is just book for your final state exam or your final state pre exam for the state in Florida here right so make sure that you are ready don't just go in there jump in and you know just do it like I did in the first place I thought I'm ready don't rush take your time because I thought like I'm wasting so much time I need to do this I have to finish this you know small that was my mentality sometimes you know I'm just rushing 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 and until the end you know I crash and I fail so I learned from that mistake don't copy what I did because otherwise you will fail unless you want to fail first time and then do it again like I did which I understand more and if you fail the first time my number one good advice is get the cramp course okay the cramp course is the summary of the whole real estate chapter which I purchased for $49 if you want that as well I will put the link down below 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 
I won't get any fee or anything about that. I'm just recommending because it has helped me a lot. You know, I confused on my first exam. So that cramp course helped me to summarize everything and it helped me to pass and have confidence and also gave me some motivation and have more focus on my state exam coming up. So that's the whole thing. Once you pass it and then that's it. You get like your certificate like this and also the paper that I show you this one. And then after two days to three days or maybe five days, you can print your certificate if you want to and also you can print your license as well and then you can find your brokerage which i'm doing right now i'm finding brokerage you know so i can start selling representing buyer or seller right so that's the video for today i'm so sorry if this video is long but i hope you found this value so if you want to know what brokerage i'm gonna apply for in the future maybe i will do that in the future video if you have some comments question comment down below you know i will happy to answer your question if you need some help about passing your real estate license give me a shout what i will do is i will give you some tip and advice more and you know i will show you this this is all my flashcards that i just memorized <laughs> <laughs> you know on my exam my first day of exam i mean i'm telling you don't just memorize anything you need to understand right i also show you this before i finish this video all this test exam you know this 100 200 300 exam that i did i also wrote what like i understand you know i don't understand in the course and this is the exam for my first attempt you can see it i have 53 out of 100 you need to have like 75 to pass on the state exam so that's the video for today i hope you like this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe remember to like this button as well you know the most important thing smash that like button and share this video for those people who would like to be a realtor as well you know i wish you all the best and good luck and i'll talk to you on my next video peace the trans uh trans trans <laughs> uh, you would like to transfer any comments down below you just all the uh, <laughs>